Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am going to be talking about hormones to really help you lose more weight, lose weight faster, all that other great stuff. This is an extension of the video I did yesterday, and today I'm going to be talking about estrogen. So again, this is just for the ladies. All this information is in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, so stay tuned for more information about that. And if you are interested or wanting more information like this, then the six-week jumpstart group that we have going that's starting January 1st is going to be perfect for you. So if you want more information, please let me know if you have stress or have hormone issues and you're like, I don't know how to eat for my hormones. This is the perfect group to join because you're going to learn so much that's going to help you not only get to your healthy weight and stay there easier, working with your body instead of fighting against it, instead of feeling frustrated and lost and wondering why I've been working out, I've been doing all these things, yet I'm still exhausted and I've seen, seen some progress, but why can't I get past this certain point, etc. This group is right for you then. All right, so estrogen and talking about estrogen for weight loss. So basic information again about your cycle and your hormones. Day one is the first day of your period. That's when your cycle starts. Day 14 is about when you ovulate and then day 28 is when the cycle ends and you start all over. Now again, this is different for everybody. Not everybody has the same cycle, but this is an average, etc. If you have had a hysterectomy or on birth control, been through menopause or perimenopause, now that's going to be a little bit different. You still have these hormones in your body. They're just at a different level. So you can still take advantage of the benefits of estrogen, especially if you start eating for your hormones, you can actually bring that out more in your body. It's amazing the changes that will happen. Okay, so the estrogen phase here actually starts, estrogen is much higher in your body during this time here, day one to day 14, right here. This is the estrogen phase. Now, estrogen does something completely different in the body than progesterone, which is what I talked about yesterday. Estrogen actually burns carbs. Woo! Yep. Estrogen also gives you a lot more energy. It increases your recovery. So when you feel tired, sluggish, like, well, you know, that's usually not in the estrogen phase. You're going to feel more energized. You're going to wake up with more energy. You're going to feel like you have more energy all day long. This is a time to really push yourself in fitness, exercise, try new things, because you're gonna be noticing a very different benefit during this phase. So another thing too, in terms of burning more carbs, because that's what estrogen does naturally, we're gonna help that out a little bit. This is a cooling phase of the body according to Eastern medicine. So we're gonna really focus on cooling foods and really helping that lower body temperature, because that's where you're gonna burn more of that carbohydrate naturally. So cooling foods are gonna be foods like um, chicken, you know, fish, turkey, stuff like that. That's, those are good proteins. Fruits and vegetables, you can eat them raw and digest them a lot better. Your digestive system is actually moving a lot better during this phase. Things are going to move through quickly. You're going to break down food easier. You're not going to get an upset stomach as often, anything like that. Um, another thing to really note besides breaking down food easier and burning more carbs is that your metabolism overall is going to be increasing a ton just naturally what happens during the estrogen phase. So cooling the body down helps you burn more carbs. Simple things to do then also are just to drink more ice water, you know, room temperature to cooler beverages. If you're going to have coffee, have it iced coffee, iced tea, things like that help to cool your body down. Again, this is more of a snapshot of your day and your week. Are you doing things more to cool the body down? Great. If you have, say, a spicy lunch, are you ruining everything? No, not at all. Just make sure throughout the day then you're counterbalancing that with cooling the body down. Spices like rosemary and mint really also have a cooling effect on the body. So adding those into your cooking or in your teas or your beverages, also fantastic way to cool the body down, which burns more carbs. Woo! Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Another thing, and this is in our six-week group, I take you through this in detail. But while your body's burning more carbs, you can actually do something called carb cycling, and that actually helps you burn even more carbs faster. Kicks up your metabolism another notch, plays with a hormone in your body called leptin, and it really, really helps you with any sugar cravings that you may have. So amazing, amazing benefits to really working with estrogen and learning how to cool your body down more and work with that, burn more carbs, increase your metabolism, all these fantastic things. So 
If you are enjoying this information, please click the share button on the bottom here. More women need to know this information. More women need to understand that they can work with their bodies and that they don't have to fight against what's happening naturally. It's just shifting kind of what you're doing every day to really get the full benefit of it. So if you are interested, please message me. You can comment below if you have any questions. Um, I would love to answer any questions that you guys have, but I'm super, super excited for this group that we're starting. We've had some amazing results so far, and um, I'm just, I'm so jazzed and pumped for the new year. So I'm going to be talking more about um, some stress, cortisol, and how hormones kind of all tie into that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, but if you guys have any other issues or anything you want more information about, let me know. If you're like, hey, this is great about the estrogen, but what about this? Let me know because I can do a video on it and, and just get that information out there for people. All right, everybody have a great day.